Hello friends and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to make an instant paper mache pumpkin bucket. Just in time for Halloween, my name is Katora and let's get started. Before we jump into the project, here's everything you need if you are playing along at home. This project starts off with a classic plastic pumpkin bucket for the base. Off camera, I have drawn the basic shape of the owl on the bucket, so I have a roadmap when I am sculpting the owl out of tinfoil. I have found the best way to sculpt with tinfoil is to roll it into little snakes and use masking tape to hold it in place. Once the skeleton of the owl is on the bucket, I went over everything with a layer of masking tape. This will help the celluloid stick to the bucket. You've probably guessed by the title I'm using celluloid instant paper mache for my owl bucket. Not only will this give the look similar to traditional paper mache, it's also really easy to work with. All you have to do is add water to activate it. The bag has everything else you need in it. If it is too wet, just add more clay. If it is too dry, just add more water. There are measurements on the bag, but I just eyeballed it. You can use regular sculpting tools to apply the clay to the bucket. I have seen other paper mache artists use butter knives and silicone spatulas and they work great. Plus your hands work really well too. To keep your fingers from getting too sticky, periodically dip them in water. While I am finishing up putting clay on the last little bit of my bucket, can you do me a favor and hit that like button and maybe, just maybe, the subscribe button too? Patrick and I are in an uphill battle against our algorithmic overlords. With your help, we can defeat them. Drying time may vary depending on how thick the layer of clay you apply to the bucket is. My owl bucket took a little over eight hours to dry in front of a fan. It's time to sand down the bumps. I used 80 grit sandpaper for this. Now that everything is sanded, I prep the surface with two coats of gesso. For the color scheme of the bucket, I wanted to keep it close to the traditional Halloween colors with a limited palette. To paint the owl bucket, I started out by blocking out all the colors.
For the feathers and other details, I wanted to keep the designs fairly simple. I would like to thank you again for watching this video, and I hope it has inspired you to go out and create something of your own. My name is Katora, and I will see you next time. Bye.